Hey guys, it's been a minute, but we are back. Today we're checking out the Wheatland Springs Mr. So the Mr. Hardwood is a porter. Uh, we got this one in celebration of our new family member. Why don't you go grab him for? I present to you Porter. <laughs> All right. Bye. So that basically would explain why we've been absent for what two, three months. It's been a while. Uh, yes, three months. So it is stout season. What's the difference between a stout and uh, a porter? Mm. I mean, the major difference is a porter is brewed with roasted barley, which a stout is not. Um, but nowadays, with the craft beer explosion, there's the lines are kind of blended. Mm. Um, the, the number one thing I get from stouts is the full full-bodied complexity, which is something you yeah, get a very, little. Yeah, they're very dense. Yeah, you get yeah. a little less of that in a porter, um, and there should be some, a lot more bitterness in a porter than than in a stout. It's sort of like a caramel color when the light hits the bottom of the glass just right. Um, yeah, looks. So this is actually an English porter. Oh, what's the difference between a regular porter and an English porter then? Um, I think with the American style porters, they're introducing black malt. With the English porter, they don't use black malt. It's, it, it's a, uh, used to be called the London porter, AKA a brown porter. Mm. Um, and I guess, the, the brown comes from just the malt. The malt. It's brown. See? You do get a slight sense of hop complexity, but that malt is definitely forefront and has this sort of sweet kick to it. Almost like caramel. Yeah, honey. like a caramel chocolate kind of. Mm. A roastiness is, is a good. Well, it smells good. I mean, let's just go ahead and dive in. Cheers. Cheers. That's like, ooh. That's really, Smooth. that's really good. That's like dead on, um, what, like an English porter. Yeah, it's. I mean, yeah, softness is how I would describe yeah. that. There's not as much carbonation as I was anticipating, and yeah, it's got like this, this bitterness, but it's uh, it's reserved. That malt definitely takes over everything, um, but without being cloying and without being too sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a good balance. Yeah, and the, there's there's that slight bitterness at the end, which just kind of gives it a nice little kick. That's nice. That's really, really nice. I think this is done really well. Like, that is excellent. It's been a while since I've had... Well, it's been a while since we've had a porter, porter. because it's one, it's been out of season, and two, they're notoriously difficult to find. I don't mm. know if it's just us, but like breweries around us, they don't really... I haven't seen a lot of them even available. I don't know where to even find them yeah. a lot of times. This is my favorite, one of my favorite winter styles of beer is a porter, mm -hmm. but where are they? It's all stouts, it's all barrel aged nonsense. Yeah, it's, it's all hard. like super intense, too sweet, too, too much going on. I like a simple porter, well done. This nails it. I think you're yeah. right. This, this is really, really good. 5.9%, you know, can't, can't beat that. Now we got this at Dominion Wine and Beer where they have it in kegs and you can walk away with the 32 ounce crowler. Um, I don't know where to f where to get this beer other than the actual brewery. They're, they're right here in Virginia, aren't they? Yeah. They're right down the road from us. Um, so pretty local to us. Uh, I don't know if they distribute far and wide. That's the other question I have. Yeah, I think they're starting to distribute, but I don't know how far their distribution network is. Mm, yeah, not 100% sure up to date on all that, but thank you to Dominion for supplying us with this. Not for free, we paid for it, of course. We're not that special, but yeah, very cool that they had it. Very cool that they can sell it to us. Um, so, man, that's a wrap. I'm gonna seek this one out again next year for sure. Oh, so I, they do brew another brew beer. <laughs> <laughs> they do brew another porter, is what I wanted to say, year-round, but it's not this one. And I think it's a Baltic porter. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. What's the difference between a Baltic porter and a regular porter, then? Oh, uh, I don't know. Testing your knowledge today. 
Baltic porters historically. You know about this. <laughs> That's why you asked the question. The difference between a Baltic porter and or any other kind of porter is that a Baltic porter uses lager yeast and it's cold fermented. So mm, it's good. it's more it's more akin to like a Schwartz beer meets a porter, right? So okay. it's kind of like the middle ground between maybe a stout and a lager, like a dark lager or something like that. It's it's like it's a fusion sort of thing. So it's even lighter. It's even lighter than lighter that than, than what this. that's going to be. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty it's pretty light. wild. Anyways, Wheatland Springs, fantastic job. Cheers to you. That's a great beer. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe and the bell and all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>